Welcome everyone, I'm Mike Spreber, Executive Co-Chairman of Novo Resources. Today is a really important day for Novo. It's the launch of our inaugural sustainability statement. At Novo, sustainability is core to our values. It defines the way that we work and how we conduct ourselves on a daily basis as we go about our work. As an organisation, we recognise the significant importance of both being responsible in our mining practices, proactive environmental stewardship, and how we manage key issues like water stewardship. For example, we ensure we mitigate the aspects of our operations by comprehensive environmental monitoring. We have environmental and rehabilitation strategies in place. And as I said, we manage critical resources like water. Over the past year, we've been working hard to further develop our approach to sustainability and our long-term objectives. So the sustainability statement that we launched today outlines our long-term commitment to becoming a sustainable explorer, developer and producer. But importantly, it provides an overview of the material sustainability issues that affect our business, how we work with shareholders and stakeholders, and what is the governance structure we put in place to make sure we have high ESG standards at all times. At Novo, we recognise that climate change is one of the most significant risks facing modern society, and it's no different for our operation and our business. We're cognizant that climate change presents both risks and opportunities for our organisation. Whilst we endeavour to minimise our risk, we also strive to maximise the opportunities. For us, this means playing our role in the transition to a lower carbon economy, and as we continue to execute our exploration and production strategy, we will continue to focus on opportunities to reduce our carbon footprint. I would now like to welcome you to Chris Gotti, our General Manager of Heritage Environment, who will take you through some of the key aspects of our sustainability statement, and in particular those material issues that are impacting our business. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Mike, and hi, everybody. My name is Chris Gotti. I'm Novo's General Manager of Environment and Heritage. Our approach towards sustainability is to identify our relevant ESG topics and ensure that priority to addressing those topics is assigned based on the needs of our stakeholders. So NOVA strives to be at the forefront of good practice for enacting high ESG standards and so we continue to reassess our existing environmental, social impact and heritage management plans along with our governance controls to ensure that they meet the most current ESG standards fit for our stakeholders. So our key material sustainability topics are traditional owner relations in communities, water stewardship as Mike mentioned, land management and health, safety and well-being of our people. So we are committed to positively contributing to the communities in which we operate. We seek to work in partnership with our communities to achieve long-term social, environmental and economic outcomes through the utilisation of local and regional service providers in addition to providing local employment opportunities. We recognise the importance of building strong relationships with the nine traditional owner groups on, on whose lands we operate. Through ongoing stakeholder engagement, we promote mutual understanding and respect for our traditional owner groups, ensuring we create projects that deliver positive outcomes for all involved. So water is a critical resource to Novo as well as other water users, including the local community and the environment in which we operate. We are committed to responsibly managing water by exploring reduction, efficiency and recycling opportunities, as well as actively engaging with our stakeholders in the region. We recognise that this is not only the environmentally responsible thing to do, but it also mitigates our risk, given that we operate in locations where rainfall patterns are changing, so to support our management efforts, we've implemented an extensive monitoring program. This program helps us to ensure that we do not adversely impact groundwater and surface water regimes. Our land holdings in the Pilbara region are in excess of 10,500 square kilometres, which includes our Cornerstone Nullivine Gold project. This means we have a sizable footprint to manage, and we are committed to doing so in a responsible and sustainable manner. A key part of our approach to managing our footprint is rehabilitating areas following cessation of our operations and we are currently optimising our plans to ensure 
that we are aligned with leading practice. So our highest priority is the health, safety and well-being of our workforce and the communities in which we operate. Safety is a critical component in the way we conduct our business and continues to guide our decision making. As such, we emphasise that safety comes before productivity, providing everybody with the power to stop work should they view a potential risk in doing so. So as mentioned previously, there are nine different traditional owner groups on whose lands Novo conducts our operations. Support from the traditional owner groups on whose land we operate is absolutely critical to Novo. Novo is committed to understanding and protecting all heritage and cultural values on the lands where we operate and we gain this knowledge by maintaining strong working relationships with each of the traditional owner groups on whose lands we explore. Firstly, we are aligning our sustainability framework with the global ICMM framework. We'll continue to develop our policy systems and procedures around that framework to ensure long-term success. Recognising the growing demand for uh, transparency in sustainability performance, we've identified a number of actions moving forwards to ensure we deliver on our commitment to be open and honest. We see transparency as essential to good governance and responsible operation, moreover being in the best interest of all stakeholders. In the year to come, we will be focusing on identifying opportunities to further reduce risk and improve our business practices, making meaningful contributions to the communities in which we operate and investigate decarbonisation and emission reduction pathways. And importantly, as we move into 2023, we'll publish our first sustainability report that will be in line with international standards. I really appreciate your interest in our focus on sustainability and look forward to your feedback on our inaugural sustainability statement. Thank you very much.